Hello, this is Toph from Trifold Productions with another Blender Quick Tip. And in this Quick Tip, I'm going to re-re-introduce everyone to the Grove add-on. This is Grove 11. I think this is the latest version of it. And this is for, for uh, Blender, a uh, tongue twister, but Blender 3.0. But I've installed it in 2.9 tune. It seems to work fine without any problems. But it's for Blender 3.0 and above. Like I said before, 2.92 works just as fine. And the installation of it is a little bit different from the other versions. Uh, but I'll leave a link for you guys to download it below this video. But this the basic installation process is the same. Just go to Edit and Preferences. And then click on Install and navigate to where you've installed it on your system. Go on Install Add-on and you're set. I've already done that myself. And then when you see the add-on pop up in the list of add-ons, just put a check in the box and you're set to go. Now, a few things a little bit different, uh, but because, and because this is for 3.0 and above, you'll see an option to use geometry nodes. 2.92 uh, does not have that feature, so I deactivated that. Uh, but you can set the widget scale, and I'll show you what the widget scale looks like. The size of it, you can adjust. Uh, by default, it's one, but I put it down to 0.5 because I'm using my laptop, so it has to be smaller so I can see all the widget options. And you have an option to install the bark textures folder, which is also the same as it was in the other versions of the Grove add-on. But the difference is with the twigs folder add-on and prior versions, if I can remember correctly, because the last one I used was uh, Grove 8. This is Grove 11. Uh, for the twigs folder or the twigs for Grove 8 and below, you had to append the files inside of Blender, then use the twigs. With this, you just add the folder into the uh, options for the your add-on and it installs it automatically. And every time you want to change the twigs or the leaves, you just change the change the folder. And it's just simple. Just click on the folder, uh, navigate to where you install twigs or folders. Because I'm using the twigs and the twigs and the bark from uh, Grove 8 to use in this version of Grove 11, and it works fine. Just click on um, your folder. For example, click on your pin butch twig, accept, accept, and then that's it. And now those twigs are ready to be used inside of Blender and the Grove add-on. So let's close this. I'm just I'm I'm just gonna showcase some aspects of the add-on. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing, just highlights of the differences of it between this one and the older versions. So we're gonna delete this cube. I'm going to left click on our toolbar there to pop up our menu. And because it's been recently installed, it's at the bottom here. So left click on that and add Grove. If you zoom in, you'll see a little twig there that shows that it's activated. And to add the twig, you can uh, choose a preset for your tree. It's the same amount of uh, tree presets in the older versions, which is fine. But we're going to stick with Ash. And then we're going to click on this drop down uh, option here. We're going to click on, let me see, European Beach Summer, and it adds those leaves automatically to the list. We're going to increase the density here, and we're going to click on Grow. And you can see it's grown some leaves on our tree. Now, with the older version of uh, the Grove add on, to add more leaves to it and branches and things like that, you had to kind of regrow it and keep growing it, and sometimes that becomes taxing on your computer. With this version, it's completely different, way different. It's a whole lot better, a whole lot more intuitive, a whole lot easier. So to add more branches and leaves to your tree, just click on draw. And then it comes up with a different setup. It left click on drag on any branch and it starts adding branches and starts adding leaves to your tree, which is cool. Now you'll see this cog here, which is which is what I was referring to, this widget, uh, which I was referring to at the beginning of the tutorial. And with this, you can change your view. And you'll see this little guy right here. And that's to reference how tall your tree is compared to the height of a human being. So this is a little bit taller than the person, which is a good reference. And you can just still kind of pivot around, left click and drag, add more branches, more leaves to make your tree fuller. And that, that's a, a helpful feature for the add-on. 
And once you're satisfied with the way your tree looks, just click on this little icon there that closes that uh, widget out. And then you have your tree. Uh, another feature I'd want to showcase for this is the pruning. Now, the other versions of the Grove add-on had pruning available. But from my own experience, when I, whenever I've pruned a tree in those older versions, for some strange reason, if I were to cut here, it would cut off this part. But then you see other branches just, just appear for no reason off the side of it, which I didn't understand why that was happening. This is a lot better, a lot cleaner. So let's click on prune, left click on that, left click and drag across a branch, and it chops it right off. A nice clean cut right there also, chops it off. Here also, once again, this is this widget, so you can view it from different angles, just how it looks. Left click and drag around so you can get to different views of your tree. Once you're satisfied with your results, left click on that close option, and that closes that out. Another feature that's pretty helpful and important is the record feature, which is right here, because it records the growth of a tree. Now, before you use this, you would think that you just press restart. You can start again, adding, um, causing the tree to grow, and press record and cause it to grow, but it doesn't work like that for some reason. It's better that you open up a new file uh, to start new, which is what we're going to do to avoid any kind of issues with the record aspect not working. So left click on file new general don't save let's get rid of this cube again and go back to our add-on add grove keep all of our options the same as they were beach summer increase the density and then now what you want to do is click on record first there are options here <clears throat> at the bottom but we won't we won't uh, deal with that right now we just want to I just want to show you the features of what the record can do. Let's pull this up so we can see the timeline. And we're going to press grow. You can see the timeline just moved. That means that the tree is growing inside the blender. You can you can uh, actually, if someone asked me if Grove could do this, the older versions couldn't, but this one can. So when you press play, you'll see the tree is now animated. It's growing. That's supposed to put down keyframes, but I don't see any keyframes down here, but that's still fine. You can change some of the parameters, adjust some of it here if you wanted to, but the fault is fine. Also, that, that looks good. Now, another feature that I want to showcase, which is the last feature, is the root system. The other versions of uh, the add-on, the root system was non-existent, but in this version of it, it is. And once again, uh, we're going to get out of, we're going to start a whole new scene because this one is just for animation in terms of the tree growing. We want to showcase the root system. And to avoid any glitches happening, we have to start pretty much fresh again. Let's go to File, New, General, Don't Save. Delete our cube again. Go to our add on, Add Grove. Just keep the defaults as they are. Beat Summer, Increase the Density grow now we have our tree there and we'll scroll down now it says roots so just left click on that and the root system comes up and we have our parameters here now it kind of goes up higher uh, so we can't see the ones at the top and i've tr i've tried to left click and drag tried to kind of scroll so i can see more of the options but for some reason it doesn't do that with this i'm doing this on my laptop so the screen is a little bit smaller you can make this smaller by going to edit and then changing all the parameters there. Okay, I just clicked into the place. Okay, that was weird. Well, I guess I guess that's how you can fix it. Just click up here somewhere and I'll adjust the uh, the parameters in terms of how you can see them, which is I guess that's good. But you can click on a cog here to change your root system. That's the number of main roots. You can change it here or you can click on this cog, the number of nodes for your root system. The length, the climb, grow down, you can left click and drag to adjust that also. You can do that with all these parameters here. Once you're satisfied with the way your root system looks, click on close, then you're done. So yeah, that's the uh, those are the updates that I've seen that are really, really great for the new and improved Grove add-on. I don't know if I'm saying Groove and Grove, but uh, I guess you pronounce it different. 
potato, potatoes, all the same. But those are the new features for this add-on, Grove 11. Uh, hopefully, I hope this was helpful for those of you who are watching. And I thank you guys who have subscribed in the past, those of you who are subscribed now, and those of you who will subscribe in the future. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.